like to be beside the seaside. I do like to be beside the sea. I do like to be upon the prom, 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 where the brass band plays simply on, on, on. So just let me be beside the seaside. I'll be beside myself with glee. And there's lots of girls beside I should like to be beside Beside the seaside Beside the sea I have worked at the fairground for at least six years. I'd rather be down here, keep active, keep fit. I, I, I love working down the fair. I used to go on teacups a lot and scream because I was about five, but work on it now, so it's fine. <laughs> and you're with people like him, you act more like a kid. <laughs> uh, the ghost train, because when I was about seven years old, I went on there and the man jumped out and uh, yeah, I whacked him one. That's terrible. <laughs> My name is George Devay. I was born into the fairground business. I'm a showman. I've retired and I, I live in Torquay and I was born in a caravan, or we call them wagons, in the trade. All the living accommodation are, are, are called wagons. We don't call them caravans. We don't really call them trailers. It's, it's probably originated from the Americans. My dad's family, he had stalls before we, I decided to buy my own. Now this is what we do. We've got good banter with the public. Do you know what I mean? We know how to earn money this side. Try and maybe earn money doing it with rides or whatever, but our expenses is a little bit cheaper than we have the rides to say. And what excites you about working at the fair? <laughs> the money, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Simon Duvay, and I am one of the owners of the Anderton and Rollins Fairground. And the fairground was established in 1854 by my great-great-grandfather, Professor Anderton. So what it means to me is a great big family tradition going back over 160 years. And um, I'm very passionate about it. I'm the sixth generation and my son is the seventh generation and he's taken a very active role in the business. So that tradition of a local family business remains in our hearts and may it continue for a long time to come. We used to sit beside the dad when we were going along the road and then when my dad and I took over and, and then my boys used to sit beside me in the same vehicle. It's a very close-knit family and we all have our ups and downs, which every family does, but, um, but at the end of the day we're, we're as one and I'm very proud to be that. My earliest recollection and my most vivid memories, as you can imagine, the fair's a wonderful thing, but the being those big old lorries and looking out the window and as you're going around the corner looking at all the traders you can't stop for a tea break you've got to keep going no excuses we don't have excuses only can do when the fair's on the move it's like military on the move and my passion when i was young was to join the army and become an officer and if there was anything too late now i'm too old but um if there was something else i would have done it would have been an officer in the british army have you had anyone uh, ever have a heart attack on the ghost train? No, all the years I've been with the ghost, all the years the ghost train's been going, no, I've never had no one have a heart attack. I went on the Dodge when I was four years old and gave me the experience of what it would appear like driving a car, which I thoroughly enjoyed. Just being able to see the enjoyment of the, the families with their kids. I like to just go out socialising with friends and sometimes they do, yeah, they just turn up and expect free rides because I work on a pump there. I feel older than what I am because I know about the world really much so I feel older than what I actually am. It's not dangerous, you've just got to go careful of what you're doing so I'm catching my hands on the actual thing that spins, that hurts. What do you like about working in the background? Just different, get to make candy floss, get covered in it. It hurts my teeth after a while if I eat too much. For 33 years I've been doing the fairground business and I still feel as though I'm 21. What I love about job, meeting new people, getting new friends and that, meeting like very friendly people like the staff and that. I lost my wife about seven years ago and we just bought the place and um, 
and I had a big luxury van on the road travelling around with my family. But now I'm quite happy to settle in Torquay, even though my sons and my seven grandchildren and one great grandchild keeps me very busy. And I think that's what keeps me active. And you know? I'm, I'm forever lasting going around wherever they are and painting the lorries and varnishing this and doing that. So, so the people say, oh, you want to ease up. But I'm, I'm frightened to ease up because I don't want to stop working because I've always loved the business. And I will tell you now that not will I ever get the chance, but if I had, if I could come back, I'd like to go around again and do the same thing. That's how much I've enjoyed traveling show business. I've loved it.